It's always been a challenge for me to turn off. I'm not a machine. There's no switch. Juggling between the stress of everyday life while trying to be a a good brother, a good partner, uh, a good friend, uh, a good son. It, it's it's a lot to handle. As a creative entrepreneur, there's a lot to manage. So I, I've learned some life lessons throughout my creative career as an entrepreneur. And I'd like to share some of them with you. Some of them may be relevant. Some of them may not. And that's fine. But hopefully a few of these uh, lessons that I've learned, these teachings that I've experienced, hopefully they connect with some of you. Saying no to someone or something is saying yes to self. And what I mean by this is that you need to establish a work-life balance. Saying no to other people, whether it's a dinner, whether it's an event, whether it's a project, a well-paid project, but you have already maybe made a commitment to yourself or to other people around you, don't change that. Saying no to someone else holds value because it also is saying yes to self. And you need, you need self, you need self love, you need self care, you need intentional moments for yourself because it takes work to know thyself, to know yourself. So say no because it holds value. It's not easy. And I get it early on, we have this yes man or yes woman syndrome. And it's very easy to say yes to all projects. But I don't think that is sustainable long term. Learn your value through what you can offer, not on the time that it takes. As artists, as creatives, we offer something different. We offer our learnings and our experiences through our art. And that creation shouldn't be valued financially on how much time and energy went into the creation. Because the art, the creation that we offer to a client or to someone or whatever it may be holds different forms of value that shouldn't just be based on time. So what I'm just trying to get at here is no matter what your medium is, find value in your creation in your art by what you can offer, not how much time it takes. Get written confirmation or proof. Always. This one's a little more direct, uh, and I think I learned it the hard way, but you want to, you want to have something written down, whether it's signed officially or not as like a contract or a document matters a little less. I think it's just really important, whether it's a text message or an email, you have written proof of an agreement between yourself and your clients whether they're friends, whether they're family, whether the relationship you have with them is good or not, always get written confirmation because you will get burned. We're going to see like, that's the first time that I'm touching over the flash. We're going to see like the result of that. Learn to swallow your pride and take criticism, both in the working world and in your life with loved ones. We will always be criticized. 
whether you're an artist or not, life is filled with contradictions and conflict. But especially as an artist, you're kind of putting a piece of you into something. It's your mind, it's your creativity, it's your imagination. So especially if you're working with clients, they will interpret your creation in a different way than maybe you had thought they would. And that criticism should be constructive and you should look at it as feedback, as notes in ways to improve it. This isn't always the case. Some people are rude. <laughs> Sometimes it's not constructive criticism. It's just criticism. But I think that it's important to create a space and work with people that you know you feel safe with. I just want to say thank you. Uh, I'm extremely grateful for the life that I have, the life that I was given, uh, the people I surround myself with, my community, uh, the work I do. I'm, uh, I'm forever grateful. Um, and if you're watching this video, it's probably because you know who I am or you support me in some way. But uh, if you're watching this and it's a random video you came across, well, probably clicked on the wrong video. Um, yeah, that's it. Peace.